happy first day of summer i'm so happy summer is my favorite time of the year i do really love spring but there's just something about summer that it just makes my heart so happy i am a little bit sad though because i was hoping we could kick start the first day of summer off with like a day at the beach or going to watch sunset or just something festive <laughs> to celebrate the occasion but it has been so cloudy overcast dark gray foggy all day long so happy first day of summer <laughs> yeah the june gloom is real right now but that's pretty normal for my area because it's so hot inland it's supposed to be like 106 degrees inland this weekend that it's just sucking all the fog in so i have a fun little day plans i'm excited i want to create a vision board a summer playlist make a bucket list i'm really excited so i thought we would start off by making a fun little summer drink it's not really summer without watermelon or margaritas. So we're gonna do a little watermelon boba margarita. I just wanted to preface this by saying that if you don't drink alcohol, then you could easily turn this into a mocktail by finding a margarita mix that is alcohol free. And then for the carousel at the end, you can just use blue food coloring. I'm really sad that we were all out of boba because that is my favorite thing to put in my margaritas, especially the passion fruit flavor. But now that we have a fun drink, I want to create a summer vision board just to kind of set the mood for our summer and for the rest of this video. I think that a mood board or a vision board is perfect going into a new season and to have that reset just so you can kind of like clear your head and get inspired and feel motivated. So I'm just gonna scroll through interest on here and save basically any picture that I think fits my vibe for this summer. So I'm just going to search like summer vibes, summer aesthetic, summer drinks, summer fashion, and I'm going to create an entire board specifically for summer 2024 and save anything that fits the vibe for that. So my vibe is really just like getting out and romanticizing summer, getting out in nature and really just having a slow summer. That's what I want to do. I want it to last as long as possible. And I just want to soak in every single memory. We got beach, we have rivers, forest, picnic, reading, gardening, fresh fruit, fun little drinks, which we are already kicking off with a fun little drink, farmer's market, living in a swimsuit at the beach, in the river, and of course, lots and lots of reading. So here is what my Pinterest board is looking like and I will save more as summer goes on, but I love it. It's definitely getting me excited for summer, getting me in the mood for it. And you know, a lot of these things are things that I want to do and embody this summer. So I'm really excited about that. The sun decided to show itself. So we thought we'd go for a little walk. We're gonna walk to my mom's house, which is, I know, a little over a mile away, I think. So definitely gonna be tired when we get back. Thank you. 
The next thing that I want to do is set up a little summer TBR shelf. So for me, a summer book is either something that's like summery and beachy or it's a really quick read. So I did recently just start reading Throne of Glass. So that's definitely on my TBR for this summer just because I'm going to want to get through it as soon as possible. But there are a few other summery reads that I want to read. So I'm going to craft a little shelf on my other bookshelf and then we'll go through some of my books and pull some of the ones I want to get to this summer. All right, I'm going a little bit on the lighter side here because again, Throne of Glass is my number one priority to start this summer. So the first books that I wanna read are Wayward and The Last Town by Blake Crouch. These are the second and third books in the Wayward Pines trilogy. The first book is Pines and I did read that already, but I am having a hard time getting into these two, but I do wanna finish them. So then we have Beach Read by Emily Henry. I've had this book for a couple of years, but I haven't got to it. And what's better for the beach than a book titled Beach? Read. Then we of course need a Nicholas Sparks book because what would be summer without imagining you're living on the North Carolina coast in a little small town falling in love. So Every Breath by Nicholas Sparks. Then I do have a thriller. Aside from Blake Crouch, this is my only other thriller. This is The Wives by Taryn Fisher. I've heard really good things about this. It's pretty small. I love thrillers for beach reads because they're super easy to fly through. Nice. Of course, we need The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. This is just like kind of Mamma Mia embraced in a book. I don't have the first book. I found all these at the thrift store and I searched everywhere for book one. Could not find it. So I have books two, three, and four. And lastly, of course, we need some Ellen Hildebrand. So I have read two, three books of hers now, and I'm definitely a fan. So we have The Five Star Weekends, which I have heard so many good things about this one. So I'm really excited for that one. Then we also have The Perfect Couple, which is about a wedding in Nantucket. So of course you have to have a Nantucket romance to kickstart the summer. Now I want to create the perfect summer playlist. So just songs that put me in the mood for summer that are just happy and feel good, that I wanna roll the windows down in the car and just blare them and scream them out at the top of my lungs. So I'm gonna scroll through Spotify and add songs on there, either like songs that are just very nostalgic for me that make me feel good or hot songs from the summer. Of course, I have to have Jason Aldean, She's Country, and Luke Bryan, Country Girl, because I feel like those are just the most summer is here songs ever. So I'm gonna add those, just a whole mix of songs. I truly like don't have one favorite genre. I listen to literally a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna do that. And then once I have my playlist all made, I wanna go sit outside on a picnic blanket underneath a tree in the grass and just read my book and listen to my summer playlist. It's actually like insanely windy out here. So I don't know how long I'm gonna stay out here for because it's pretty crazy. It's it's uh, gentle right now, but the gusts are really strong. So gonna read my book. Hopefully you can hear me well enough because it's pretty windy outside, but I just got to page 300. It's chapter 40. She was just at the ball, the Yule Miss ball. I think I'm hooked now. I'm really excited to see where this is going because it is written in like more of a third person point of view. And so you get a little bit from a lot of different characters and now I'm so intrigued.
My hair is so like wind swept and crazy right now, but I feel like it's kind of a vibe. The last thing on my fun filled first day of summer to do list is to create a summer bucket list. I was really wanting to do like a handwritten one with like fun colors and just Get creative with it but if i'm being honest i'm not all that creative so i think i'm gonna design one in canva and make it kind of like a bingo board and if you guys want a copy of it i'm going to post it on my instagram story and save it as a highlight so you can get it on there if you want to join in on my little summer bucket list so canva is really nice because they have a lot of just like templates that you can use for pretty much anything that you can think of i use them a lot in like all of my social media and I love it. So I think I'm gonna find like kind of a bingo board on there and then just customize it to add all of my like summer fun tasks that I wanna do. So my bingo board is all made up and it's pretty generalized. There are a few very specific things that I wanna do this summer, but I am not comfortable with sharing those on the internet just because they're very specific to things in my area. But it's definitely a start, a start to a very fun-filled summer. I want to really romanticize my summer, like I said again, and some of these things are very nostalgic for me, so like berry picking. I remember when I was a kid going berry picking with my grandma blueberry picking, so I already asked her if she wanted to go with me the next nice day, and she said yes, so... That'll be really fun. I'm excited for that. Of course, watch the sunset. I always watch sunsets, but one thing I never do is watch sunrise. So I want to do that at some point this summer for sure. It's just going to be a fun packed summer. I'm really excited. That is going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I gave you some ideas for summer to get in the summery mood. I know I definitely am. I think I'm going to go eat some strawberries for a little snack and yeah, call it an evening. <laughs> I'm pretty wiped out. We did a lot today, but... It was fun. I'm really excited for summer. I can't wait for all of the summer activities. It's gonna be good. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you made it this far in the video, then comment this emoji and I will see you guys next time. Bye.